just playing hide and seek behind a whole gaggle of wings. <laughs> that word, gaggle of wings. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, well, since we're saying it, here we are. A whole gaggle of cornstarch fried wings. Now, there are no flats because my local grocer only had the drums today. But we have two pounds of crispy fried wings. I've let them settle into their proper temperature. And we're getting up close and personal with four dips. We got the runny ranch, of course, a honey garlic, sweet chili heat. And over here is something I've never tried, but uh, I have a feeling it's going to be delicious on wings, which is this uh, tomatillo green salsa. I don't know why, but I feel like it's going to be awesome. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and try that first. So since we're trying new things here. But yeah, I don't know. When's the last time I had a nice plate of wings? Been a minute. The crave was real. Now here we are. Just as suspected, it is delicious. And I think what's going to be even more delicious is a little cross, a little cross ranch with it. Mm -hmm. I think why this is happening is I uh, actually accidentally dunked this one in when I was piling the wings, so we'll just deal with that. But I was watching like a, I was watching some Wingstop videos. Mm. So I still never have got to try Wingstop myself, which is such a bummer, but they're having that Popeye's moment right now where they release a new chicken sandwich. The fried chicken sandwich. I don't know that they've, they've ever had a chicken sandwich on their menu. So people are going crazy for it, but apparently it's just like sold out everywhere. And uh, I was watching some of those videos of people eating those and the next thing I know, fried chicken is just deep on the mind. And y'all know me, I can't ever settle for one sauce. We need to have four. <laughs> is the spice of life and honey garlic is just so good easily one of my favorite wing flavors is a honey garlic and sweet Thai chili not far behind
batch came up pretty good. I fried them for a long time. They only crisped up to like this level, which is crispy. But that's kind of what happens with the cornstarch fried wings is that they only crisp up so far. But what's really good about them is that in their in this way of frying they remain very easy to effortlessly pull off the bone they kind of get like a steamy interior a little bit a random very sad happening in the uh youtuber world that someone who i kind of stumbled upon a long time ago but did does food content is steph pappas she's basically youtube famous instagram famous like tiktok she's got millions everywhere Very attractive, well put together, cute, um, kind of, you know, just like a nice, humble-ish type person. Was never deep in the drama or just, <clears throat> she carries herself very well. But her, her dad, who had a channel too, uh, he was inspired to start his channel just from her doing so well on YouTube. And they would always do like funny, funny videos together on her channel and stuff. Anyways, he got, well, rest in peace, he's dead. But killed in a car accident, got hit by a drunk driver, and one of her dogs was with him. And the dog is dead as well. And I just heard this the other day, I was like, I don't know, I'm just super shocked. Cause I did watch a bunch of her videos with him in and, in it and then I did like as well follow his channel when he started one and he just seems like a really great dad so that's super sad She's only 22. I assume he was probably in his 50s. So. Just rest in peace to him and condolences to staff. Really crazy. How life literally just in a snap has changed forever. Entirely different. And, you know, going through that day, like, I think she expected to get that news that day. Like, nobody was expecting that, right? Then all of a sudden, your parents is gone.
terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyways. Just wanted to quickly acknowledge that. But while we're on the down, dark, and dreary, let me mention, uh, I put up a community tab status not too long ago where I was on. That tired, depressive existential tip, just something I felt like I needed to, I just needed to say. Or post about. I see that there's a lot of response on the status. Lots of thumbs up. Lots of people feeling exactly the sentiments of what I was had said. And then there's a ton of comments. Last I checked, something like eighty three. I read the first 10 or 15 before, well, A, becoming overwhelmed with like positive emotion of just, wow, there's other people, you know, all experiencing the same shit and telling their story of when they were in a shitty place and like just kept going and going and then like somewhere along the way life worked out. Uh, you know, beyond their wildest dreams or at least to their wildest dream to, to they got where they were like trying to go. Uh, that being said, and this is such a weird thing that happens to me with those, with going through comments, especially on something like that. I'm like scared to read through these comments all the way. Because... A, I get this obligatory sense to respond in depth to everybody. And then that's overwhelming. Because I really appreciate everybody taking time to write what they write. But also, there's going to be those like five comments somewhere in there probably. Of people just cutting you a new asshole. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, you can't get through to see all the comments without having to see. Those comments. Now, I don't know if that's okay for sure. Like I said, I have not had the balls to read them all, quite honestly. We'll use that term. And um, I'd like to acknowledge them. I just, it's like intimidating. It, it strikes fear deep in my heart and my mind. Um, so what I'm thinking is, I almost want to make like a lengthy video, maybe an hour, like it'd probably be like an hour long video, chips and dip or something like that, and go through that comment thread in depth and read responses. And uh, just kind of interact with each comment, but verbally through a video. I don't know if that would be something of interest. Or if that's too long-winded and weird.
things of that nature. I don't know. But there's a part of me that kind of would, would like to do that. That all said, I say that to say this. I appreciate everybody who did thumb up and like like that comment. And I extend my sort of sorrowful pain, painful understanding. If you've been, if you've felt that way. Been feeling that way. Like your soul is tired. Because that's kind of where I'm at. It's like... I'm existentially burnt out. You know? <laughs> That's how it feels. There's being burned out of, say, doing YouTube. There's being burned out of that. There's bur being burned out of your career. There's being burned out of maybe f some relationships, family stuff, whatever. There's a different types of burnt out, but then there's like a deeper burnt out which is the scariest type of burnt out which is like I'm burnt out on life like existence like waking up and being like oh shit I have to mentally and physically endure everything that comes along with being a human being for another 18 hours until I can just sleep again. Do you know what I mean? That type of exhaustion. It's a different type of exhaustion. It might be called clinical depression. I'm not sure. But that's not good. It's just a different kind of tired. It's a different kind of dull, flat, dark, boring, what's the point type energy or feeling. It's not even an energy. So it's, it's, it's a feeling. Because quite frankly, you don't really have much energy. And everything you do... from showering to brushing your teeth to putting on your pants. Everything is just moment to moment struggle of like, okay, just get this tiny little task done and get to the next one. Go through the motions of that, get to the next thing. Do what you have to do at the next thing. And so on and so forth. And then you wake up and it's like you don't feel any better. And you're like, oh, this cycle again today. Great. And you just keep cycling through until hopefully one day it just, that cloud lifts. And you're kind of excited for things again. And I suppose I'm slowly coming to where the cloud's lifting a bit. Which I feel grateful for. I'm better than I was. But I'm not also who I used to be. And maybe that's part of the change too. That's part of the cycle. It's like forcing you in a newer direction or sort of thing. So I don't know. But anyways, shit can get real, real dark, is all I'm saying. And, uh, yeah, so to anybody who 
commented on that status and felt that way. I feel you. I, I know what it's like. Human experience, right? Tons of people go through it. Um, that being said, should I make a video going through those comments? I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Four wings left in the back here, but I am perfectly full. And I don't want to uh, go over this level of full. So to the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.